Flow gives all new meaning to the saying, I want you inside me. The concept of the game is simple. You use a six-axis motion control to move an aquatic organism to evolve into a much bigger organism. You start out using the organism known as Snake, but after going through all the screens you get to be another organism. Throughout the game you get to be a total of five different organisms, or six if you count the organism that you can be in the credits for the game, and after unlocking them you can play as any organism at any time. Some can move faster by pressing any button, and others have other special moves like a spinning attack that seems to suck in various organisms, or a cloaking attack that makes other organisms think that you are not there and you'll be able to jump out at them. There are two organisms which cause you to either go further into the abyss or back out. Those are the ones with red or blue in them. The red ones will make you go further in and the blue ones will make you go further out. Of course to beat the game you'll go for the red ones. This process is described by the game's developers as dynamic difficulty adjustment, as the player can go through the game at their own pace. Even though Flow is classified as a game, I see it more as just a fancy motion control tester. The only thing that even presents any challenge is when you go up against large organisms. You have to really get on them otherwise they start eating at you first and if they eat too much of your organism you turn blue and get sent back to the previous screen. But really even though I use the word challenge, there really is no challenge in this quote unquote game at all. But I do have to say that the motion sensor controls on this are amazing and they are very accurate and it really makes me want more games that utilize the motion control technology. Flow also allows up to four players to play at once on the same screen, so you and your friends can take a few bong rips and groove out to the ambient sounds that are in 5.1 surround and the vibrant visuals which are in 1080p. So as always, the question is, do I think people should buy this game? Well, like I said before, this really isn't much of a game in my mind, and I think the $7.99 price is a little much for something that just adds up to a really fancy motion control tester. It is fun to the point that I have played it a few times and enjoyed it, and I have beat the game using every organism, and even took the time to go through the credits. But then again this game started out as a flash game that did not have the 4 player option, THX sound, full 1080p HD, motion controls, more organisms to play as, or separate credits. And the original was downloaded 350,000 times within the first two weeks of its release. So you can look at it as this game is enjoyed by many, or you can look at it in another way and think that it was downloaded so many times because it was a good game for free. So I would suggest checking out the original Flash game, and if you like the concept then you should for sure buy the PS3 version. Also there is an add-on for this game for $2.99 which adds an art organism to play as in an all new campaign. But of course you're better off going for the bundle pack since it is cheaper than buying both separately. And all that you get for only $8.99 makes me for sure say that it is well worth it and you should definitely buy this game.